Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, episode 34. Last run, we completed the... Uh, oh, what was it? Infestation? Something like that. One of those challenges. I rolled a 9 this time, which I think I've done before? Yeah, that's Demo Man. So my backup was 15. Slow roll. Now that's a fun one. In this one, we get the joys of Polyphemus plus um, my reflection and Cupid Zero, which is basically a way of saying I crush most enemies I hit, but I also fire very few shots. Now, admittedly, that doesn't really make a difference. I'll still crush most everything I come across, but. It is a slight drawback, and that's also very annoying when that happens. Ugh. I tried to pull this off. It worked, but it was worthless. And I don't pull that off very often. So I'm very disappointed in that. Boom! See what I mean? Even with Cupid's arrow, it's still... With, well, what did I say even with? I meant with Cupid's arrow, you don't even have the whole um, belief of mist becoming less effective the more enemy you kill. Nope. This kills everything in sight. I like it. Also, I don't think it can hit enemies more than once. I remember that being a thing with most shots. There are certain ones where you can hit them more than once with a single shot, but I don't remember what they are. For example, I've tested that before with uh, anti-grab tears. Doesn't work. Sadly. It does work with tractor beam, I believe. Or does it? If you use tractor beam with um, anti-grab. I think. I could be m misremembering that. That's a pretty cool synergy, by the way. I don't know how useful it is, but it's pretty cool. That's all that matters in the end. How do I have so many keys? On one hand, I don't want to do this. On the other hand, it might be really useful. But I'm going to ignore it because I don't even really need it for this particular challenge. Hive Mind would have been fantastic on the previous one. This one doesn't need the help. If you need help beating this one from damage ups from the shop... Yeah... I pray for your soul. Not really. But... Ugh. I missed its name again. But wait, I can look it up. Once I, uh, finish this. There we go. And we got Speedball. Ooh. What to take? I kind of want to take everything. So let's do it. Not everything. Well, actually, I could have taken everything. If I had thought a bit more. Oh, well. Not that I really cared. If it was anything other than Satanic Bible, if it wasn't something that gave me spirit hearts, I should say. Or, in this case, black hearts. I would have thought about, um... The nail. Satanic Bible, though. Yeah, I'll do it. Also because I have enough faith in slow roll to not be too concerned with my health. And this will make me play a bit more on edge. Although now that I have a decent amount of health, I don't think that's possible. But that's how it goes. Whoa. Nope. Ugh. Gotta dodge. I mean, it's not like this is, say, Glass Cannon where you start as Judas. Meaning there's a very strong possibility of you dying early on. Mostly as a result of the fact that a single champion will bring you down. 
All right. Not too interested in exploring floors, maybe mainly because it's not that interesting with slow roll. Especially since the attacks are so slow, like so few of them. Whoa. I am surprised I dodged that. And he's down. Sweet. Screw. Well, it's not fantastic. I do like it more than what I have, though. I assume the, the reason this one only goes to Mom is because he thought do, making it go any further was just redundant. This, much like the um, computer savvy one, is just there to show off an interesting synergy. Nothing more. I think it's worth going to this place. And it turned out to be the case because I just got a black heart for my troubles. Sweet! I like that. And oh, they're dead, so I don't really have to worry about that. What's this way? I kind of wish this was a more difficult challenge. It'd be interesting to see a way to make Polyphemus actually difficult without completely neutering it. How well does Polyphemus work with, uh, soy milk? I've never seen that combo. I mean, it's probably awful. Oh. I used the two of hearts out because I wanted to see if it would give me anything. But nope, turns out if you have zero health, it does nothing. It's interesting. It's one of those things you wouldn't think to check very often. Unless you were in that situation like I was just now. I didn't expect to be able to hit him with the circular circular one. Why am I getting so many spirit hearts as random drops? It's the second one, where I rarely get a single one. Oh well. That's just the nature of luck. Sometimes you have a 90% chance yet fail 10 times in a row. Sometimes you succeed a 10% chance 5 times in a row. Depending on your idea of pass and fail, that is. I should know, I played Fall in London. Ooh. Well, another heart's good. I wanted the suit card there. And I get to get it. Cool. Hopefully it's not of hearts. Joker. I like that. Let's see what I get. I will take it. Whoa. The um, dark fireball of death is pretty awesome. Not to mention more damage ups are always great, especially when you have something like Pleafness, which works as a damage multiplier. Pretty massive one at that. I can't remember what the actual multiplier is, but it's pretty high. Highest one in the game. Although that should probably go without saying, given how that's its entire shtick. Kind of pointless if there's a higher one. From a single item, that is. Obviously, if you get multiple items, you might be able to get a higher one. But even then, I'm not so sure. Ooh, stem cells. Heaven knows I can't go without red health for a while. This is only a seven minute run. So far. I'm tempted to do just a second challenge right after, immediately after this in the same episode. I mean, given how long some of my previous episodes have been, it wouldn't really be out of place. We'll see. If I beat it in under, say, 12 minutes, that should be plenty of time, right? If I defeat Mom under 12 minutes, I will do a second challenge run. Whoa. Boy, did that. And over here, we have the Key Beggar, which is not great. I could have fed him, given I have 11 keys and no reason to ever use them, but... Eh. Why dignify him with a response of any kind? 
It'll just encourage them. Filthy beggars. The Grey Scourge. Alright, and we're here. Ah. Along till the boss. I'm remarkably more patient when I don't have uh, Curse of the Lost. Mostly because at least I have some idea of how far I've come and whether or not I'm going in circles eventually. Here I mostly have to guess. I mean, sure, I have the whole do circle, uh, do clockwise, or sometimes counterclockwise, like I'm doing now for some ungodly reason. And sometimes I just throw that to the curb entirely because I have consistency. <laughs> Alright, where are you? There we go. Only two of them. I can do more than that in my sleep. One more, and you're down. There's the boss. Only take a few more seconds to before this floor is over. This is probably the second, the single fastest clear I've ever done of um, pre mom stuff, anyway. Mostly because even on my previous slow rolls, which I think I've done two of. I uh, usually at least <laughs> kill them in a single shot. I usually at least explore a bit more. Did I already have magic mushroom? Nope, I didn't. That was last run. Which means this is even more ridiculous. Why don't you just give me, oh, I don't know. Lump of coal. No? Oh well. I have plenty of health. And I'm pretty sure Head of Krampus uh, multiplies my damage, which means this is going to be kind of easy. Nope. Don't care. Here, also don't care. But for a different reason. Did that give me a tears up? I think it did. Doesn't feel like it, but I didn't have very high tears to begin with, so who knows? Hangman, eh. Probably not that great, but who knows? I certainly don't, because I'm not clairvoyant. You might if you skipped ahead of this video or are re-watching it for some ungodly reason. But I'm not here to judge you. I'm only here to point and laugh and say, hey, who looks, who looks like they bothered listening to me more than once at the same time? I don't even think that made sense. Let's laugh and point at the person who decided to give me a view more than once. Can't have that. And we're on our way. It's a bit anticlimactic when um, you fin you literally kill the room just by walking across it. Well, that's not literally what I'm doing, but it's effectively what I'm doing. Diplopia. I can't afford it, otherwise I would be curious as to whether double nightlight would even work. It shouldn't, because I don't think uh, status effects like that can double. Might make it so that the nightlight goes both ways, though. Should be really cool. Looks like I might be doing that second one after all. Hmm. Alright, that was easy. What are you? Two of clubs. Don't really care, but thank you, regardless. Huh. Maybe it doesn't take into account your tears. Well, actually it might, given how little dam- that- how little damage that did. Come on. I want to do that second challenge. So why not? Alright. Well then, now to do a second challenge, as we roll that die. Uh, that's a seven, which I'm pretty sure I already did. Wrong one. Yeah, that's Suicide King, so let's do it again. Okay, it's number four, Darkness Falls. I do not like that one. 
But I guess I have to do it eventually, so may as well be now. Oh, wait, never mind. I like this one. I that confused with, I think... No, not Cursed. Cursed is a different one. Just making sure it wasn't a double floor so I could make sure I get end up getting the thing. I love Sacrificial Knife. Devil Deal. Devil Deal is what I'm looking for. Ugh, I have to go to Satan. I don't especially care. I'm pretty sure I can do this just with what I have now. Whoa. See what I mean? And now I have two orbitals. Awesome. Now, admittedly, going down to Satan will make this quite a long one. He didn't take into account when I said I would do two. But, given it was 12 minutes and it would be... That's about how long it would take me to do the dark room normally anyway. I'm not too concerned. As long as I don't die. Which is entirely possible on one this long. The only reason I had such a good track record with the challenges so far is because of how short they are. They haven't been long enough to, for my mistakes to bite me in the ass later. That might change now that I actually have decent length run. And over here, there's just a bunch of enemies that I can kill using this. Especially when this uh, challenge rewards me for being reckless. Probably not the best decision. I should go into the shop and see if there's BFFS. But first, I'll blow these guys up because they don't deserve to live. Well, I am Eve. I may as well make use of that fact. And what better way to... Well, actually, there's not... There is a lot of better ways, given my situation with my health. I think I'd rather take this than the Razor. Was the Razor normally in this, or is that just... No, yeah, the Razor is normally in this. Because I haven't actually unlocked the Razor with Eve, because you have to get that from Greed Mode, and I've played Greed Mode a grand total of once. Sweet! Now I can go to the shop. That's what I'm looking for. Stab him too. Don't worry, plenty of stabbings for everyone. And I get to turn health into coins. I consider that quite good. I wouldn't really use the razor blade very much anyway, except when I gain health accidentally. Yeah, not really worth it. Ah, bad idea, bad idea. Is it just me, or is uh, the dead bird better than usual? It's usually a lot less proactive than that. Alright. Ugh. Some bad luck here with that. There we go. That was easy enough. Cat o' nine tails. Quite good in my opinion. Much better than in the original Isaac, where it was uh, basic. Well, um, I think it was only Wrath of the Lamb. In fact, I think it was introduced during Wrath of the Lamb. But basically, it would only uh, give you the shot speed, which made it. Kinda worthless. But now that it gives you a plus one damage up, it's quite good. One of the better items, actually. If not the one of the best. Obviously not better than Magic Mushroom. But... Well, Magic Mushroom is... Uh, it's arguable if you already have Cricket's Head. Hey, I actually said Cricket's Head right for once. Okay, let's try this. Even though it doesn't matter because I wouldn't be able to get it anyway, so I don't know why I was carrying there, but... Run! Ah. Whoa. That was lucky. I mean, that's the whole point of Orbital, so I guess it's not that lucky, but... For sure, one can say that you would lose a lot more often if you'd never had Orbitals. 
But that's the whole reason orbitals exist, so... It's kind of like saying if you had different items, your run would be different. Yeah. Obviously. It's kind of how that works. It's how I feel whenever I hear something like, um, oh, this item really saved me on that run. Well, true, but if you hadn't had different, completely different items, your run would have been completely different, too, so. Maybe one of the items you got made it, made your run actively worse. Also, very close to death, so I should really be careful here. It means avoiding imp attack. There we go. Soul Converter. It'd almost be good, but instead I'll take the Champion Belt. Because I don't know the meaning of the word restraint. Uh, it's not worth picking up the heart. A lot of damage. Admittedly, I have too much. I'm taking too much damage on account of the fact that I'm insistent using Sacrificial Knife, even when it's not really necessary. And I do enough damage with my tears by now that it's also unnecessary on that front. It's only really good if there's enemies that benefit from me having that. For example, if I use Algaze, it's a room clearer. I'll save that for Satan. There we go. The Frail. I can also use it on the Frail. Mostly because things like this. Let me stay still like that. Although admittedly it's a bit more difficult with the frail specifically because of the frail's abilities. But it turned out it didn't matter, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, that probably wasn't smart of me, but whatever. Mostly because I'm dangerously low in health to the point where a single champion might kill me. I think. Sometimes when I go from soul health to red health, it only does half a heart damage. I don't know if that's intentional or a bug. I don't know if it happens all the time because I never pay enough attention. So basically, I have no idea what to think of it. I can't tell if those enemies are just a weaker version of the brimstone ones or just a different version. Because it feels like they could be either one. On one hand, the other ones attack instantly and, and don't have a minimum range. On the other hand, they're slightly the others are slightly more unpredictable. And they're more willing to have a ton of them in the room. Hey, that's cool. And that's even cooler. This is the third run in a row I've gotten that. Not that I'm playing by any means, but... Seriously, give the spotlight to some other items. And I just realized that since I'm Eve, there's no reason for me to constantly avoid having the full heart there. It's not like other characters where that actually makes a difference with Horror Babylon. Might be because I've been playing Eve so little lately, on account of all these challenges. Bomb! Alright, break you, I will break you, ah, break you, and next room, whoa, there we go, that was fun, bad guess is not so fun, but, you win some, you lose some, and that, all things considered, that was not exactly a crushing loss. I was so sure the boss would be this way. Or at least the shop. The shop is probably in one of those lower two, because of course it would be. It'd be too easy if it was on the way to the boss. Alright, and what's in the arcade? Just for the sake of my sanity. Lots of coins, because why not?
Yes, feed my greed. Let me wallow in the wonders of money. Admittedly, wallow and wonders are not usually used in the same sentence. If anything, I would call that an oxymoron. Does oxymoron apply to phrases? I don't know. The jar is almost tempting. Temperance. Temperance. I do like temperance. Except I don't really like temperance, because why would I like temperance? It's less useful than even, um, what you call it. Right, I forgot that I didn't care about that. It's even less useful than Wheel of Fortune. At least that you sometimes want to use. Well, you might want to use temperance occasionally, mostly as either Samson or Eve, which admittedly I am right now. But I already have the IV, IV bag, I don't need additional stuff for that. Safety pin. Extra heart in here. Uh, I guess it's alright. May as well waste a couple keys. Because why not? I kind of want to fight the angel, but I won't mostly because I can't even go to Mega Satan. Disappointing, but true. There we go. Back to Horror Babylon, because I always need Horror Babylon. It's the life giver. For great justice. That turned it out. That turned out to be worth it. Turned it out. Even by my Okay. This is a really money heavy run. It's too bad there's almost no way for me to get money equals power. So I don't think that's in I don't I think as of rebirth it's no longer in Devil Deals. It's in the original Isaac it was. That is to say, Wrath of the Lamb. Might have been in the original Isaac. I don't remember if uh, money equals power was in the original Isaac. I think it was because you got it from Mom's heart. Which wasn't in the original original game. But it was uh, before Wrath of the Lamb. But that might have been changed for Wrath of the Lamb, so I have no clue. I started playing after Wrath of the Lamb started, so I wouldn't know most of that. Why did I start playing Binding of Isaac? I have no idea. I just did one day, and then... Then Rebirth came around, and I was like, hey, I'll play that too, and then... Now we're here. What a long, strange trip it's been. I don't even remember how that song goes. I partly only remember that from that one World of Warcraft quest. Not quest, achievement. That basically made you um, have to have been playing for at least a year to complete because it requires you to do all these achievements at, during certain holidays. I honestly can't remember if I ever completed that one, come to think of it. I know I got close, because I'm... I'm naturally a completionist. I'm playing Binding of Isaac for... For Pete's sake. Of course I'm a completionist. Ah, avoid it. May as well destroy the mines myself before he destroys them for me. That would be rather dangerous. Almost. Almost dead. Ah, now he's dead. Well, not truly dead. Now he's truly dead. Seriously, that slippery mechanic is pretty cool. I wish it would be used somewhere else. I mean, it'd be mo annoying wherever else it was, but it'd be cool. All right, to the north. What's this way? Oh, excuse me there. North's the goodest place to start as any. Unless you're talking about movies, in which case it is an awful place to start. 
very, very awful place to start. Troll bombs count as enemies? Oh, yeah, it has to, because that's some of... Well, no. Actually, I don't know why that is. Huh. Interesting. Dodged him just barely. And now for the babies. Who knew the day would come when I start chucking coins at babies in order to destroy them in my matricidal quest? Really, everyone goes through that stage in their life. It's usually right after the part where you become the subject of a Greek tragedy. Mostly be because the gods are just assholes. In general, I mean, sometimes it's sort of deserved. Like, take, say, Arachne. I may as well take it since, well, what else would I need it for? And this way I get permanent Polaroid invis invincibility. More or less, given I can take it away whenever I need it. Neither of those are worth taking, so I'm just going to get out of here. Box of spiders would replace my very lucrative IV bag that admittedly is kind of useless after this floor, but... Whatever, I didn't write the script. That's just my go-to whenever I have nothing else to say. That or some random self-deprecation about how what I just said doesn't make any sense. That works every time. Where are you? There you are. Other one. Gotcha. And to the south we have... These guys. The red walking hosts. Who are pretty... Non-threatening. As far as things go. Woo! Almost. And you're out of here. So are you. Even if you hadn't gone up there, I would have just ended up shoving you into the spikes anyway. Which I'm pretty sure kills you even if you are invulnerable. Maybe. I know poison does, so I don't see why the spikes wouldn't, but... Who knows? If not, I would just wait for it to go up and then it would die. I think. Except for the fact that I can't see all the spikes, so... It's still debatable. That's kind of frustrating, right? Uh, not much else to say, given how strong this is. And I don't really want to bo bother you by explaining my quest to discover if a series of... Um, Close, bounded, non-empty, nested intervals in R always contain an element in their intersection. That's not exactly the most riveting of topics to speak about. Or perhaps whether if a um, function, if a function's absolute value it, if the absolute value of a function is uh, differentiable at a point, and that function is continuous, then it must be differentiable at that point. It's the most riveting of conversation topics, I should know. Let's see if it's here. Yes, it is. And I get more bombs because, yeah, the game just doesn't like me. To the left, and then to the south. Actually, that's not the right way to go, mostly because I couldn't see. To the east instead. Don't worry, I'll be just as... Um... Whoa, I didn't even realize that. I'll be just as inconsistent with my use of cardinal directions in the future. Hard to tell what's just regular enemy blood spatter and what's 
Oh. Oh. Right, it takes a full heart away. Which means it's unwise for me to use IV bag anymore to take away health. Unless, of course, I have more than a heart. More than, um... Uh, yeah, more than a heart, I should say. In that case, I can use it to take it away. For example... See what I mean? It works. It's not as useful as it could be. What are you? Two of spades, which is not exactly the most useful thing I could get here, but... Every little bit helps! By which I mean it doesn't, but... Hey, I may as well accept it. The game offered it. And it so very rarely gives me anything halfway decent. Let's do that. I did a south. I hope we don't get a devil deal. That might be nice. Or I guess spirit hearts from an angel deal would be okay too. Which is not something I say very often, but in this case is pretty true. Ah, what did that just barely? I would have liked to use that on actual boss, but whatever. I could probably just stab him like this. But that wouldn't be nearly as interesting, which is why I decided to do it anyway. Hierophant, Hierophant, I don't know how you pronounce that. Algae's better than the fool. Is that what it was? I think it was the fool. Don't really need that. Oh, the scarred womb. One of the more disturbing floors in the in Afterbirth. Really, the only disturbing floor. Ignoring the fact that the womb is an actual floor. If there's a floor in Binding of Isaac that can be called disturbing, it's probably the Scarred Womb. All the other ones are just vaguely unsettling at times. I found the pills. That's nice. Okay. Shiny Rock would be alright, but I'm not at the point where that matters anymore. Probably. I think. I couldn't think of it, I'm not really at the point where a lucky, uh, lucky toe matters, so I may as well take it. Oh, look. One that I can't even get because I don't have the hangman or wife in general. Maybe if I get, uh... Whoa, dodge that. There we go. Maybe if I get flight from the devil room. Or angel room. Don't want to presume. In fact, that would be nice, because now I have two that I can potentially get. Is this it? I can't remember. Yes, it is. One up. Awesome. That's almost game, set, match, except I'm very creative in my ability to lose, so who knows? I'm actually kind of shocked that that happened the way it did. I'm also shocked that I managed to do that without getting hit. Seriously, you don't know how little that happens, and I'm scared. To the point, I'm tempted to use algaes. But I have one up, so I'm not that scared. And I did just kill one of them, so... Maybe this is okay. But yeah, this is by far... <laughs> Mega Maw is by far the most dangerous challenge enemy in this one. In... Afterbirth. I took that for survival's sake. It's not worth the extra damage. For now. Of course, I will definitely use it for that sake, now that I have that. But I'll always take the health at this point. To the north, what do we have here? A bunch of these guys. Guard V, I believe they're called. 
at least that's what they're called in the code, which isn't necessarily what they're called in actuality, because some of them are, some of the names in the code are a lot less creative than the ones in the actual game. I forget what actual examples there are, it's usually the bosses, but... All right, and it lives. It certainly does. Ah, there we go. And almost. I'm not too concerned now that I got the eyes out of the way, unless more eyes end up appearing. Oh, it was nice to do some damage with my, uh, oof, knife. And it was nice to kill them with my knife. I could do Hush, or I could be smart and not even touch Hush with a 37 and a half foot pole. That's right, it's not even worth the 39 and a half foot pole. At least for the Grinch, I'm willing to break out that one. It's only for special occasions. Hush doesn't even get that. It gets the bargain bin one. You know, the one that's... What should I do? It's not worth it. I could potentially make it on this life. Potentially. Whereas I'm quite certain I will not be able to beat Satan on this life alone. If I get there with Algies, I'm guaranteed to win. Because I'll just be able to... Um, to... Stab him to death. As long as I use it on a second form. If I use it against the Fallen... That was not intelligent of me at all. That was also not intelligent of me at all. Now I don't even get Polaroid. Okay, I admit that probably wasn't my best play, but... I had one up, which is very fortunate. Otherwise, that would have been the end. That would have been a pretty awful end. Losing shield of all places. He blew up. Ah! It's too many of them. So many. So many Stevens. Must kill them all. Looks like Steven messed around a bit too much with that time travel. I'm fuck indeed. Oof. That was bad. As bad as it could have been, but it was still bad. Alright. At least the fear is useful against them. Whoa. Dodge that. Sweet! Spirit Heart. That makes up for everything, right? No, not at all. I'll act like it does, though, because what else do I have to do? Rat. Oof. I could have just tried to blow him up with one of my bombs. That's an instant kill. Or at least it should have been. I guess that's only against regular Wrath. That's a pity. Nope. Over here. Come on, Satan. You know you want to fight me. Alright. Never fought these in a serious way. Like, usually it's a... For one reason or another, they're trivial. Like either I have some kind of piercing tears or whatever, or what have you. All right, it's over. 
To a point where I could have to end this episode right now and you would know exactly what happened. I defeated the Fallen. Popped Algies. Satan died. No shocks there, right? Right. It's mostly because of how ridiculously long Algies lasts for. It's like a... I don't even know. It's measured in the tens of seconds. That's how long it is. It's pretty long. And it's over now. It's a nice fighting you, Satan. But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to end it now. See what I mean? Yep. Well, and that was that episode. If you enjoyed what you saw, like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you next time on The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth.